So today's uh, reflection is John 9, 1 to 11. Uh, Jesus heals a man born blind. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind. His followers asked him, Teacher, whose sin caused this man to be born blind? His own sin or his parents' sin? Jesus answered, It's not the man's sin or his parents' sin that made him blind. This man was born blind so that God's power could be shown in him. While it is daytime, we must continue doing the work of the one who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After this, Jesus uh, spat in the ground and made some mud with it and put the mud on the man's eyes. Then he told the man, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means scent. So the man went, washed and came back seeing. The neighbours and some of who had earlier seen the man begging said, isn't this the same man who was used to sit and beg? Some said he is the one, but others said, no, he only looks like him. The man himself said, I am the man. They asked, how did you get your sight? He answered, the man named Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. Then he told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and then I could see. So the first thing that sort of uh, struck me was they they thought that uh, obviously this, I, this man had committed a sin, which had been a bit hard seeing as he'd been... Uh, blind from birth, but or it could be the mother, the mum or dad. So and Jesus saying no. Uh, sometimes you know sometimes it's not to do with uh, sin. It's it's basically to do with uh, God needing to show uh, His power, and in order to. Uh, to do this, I think sometimes he uses the uh, disability uh, of people to uh, just to show you how powerful he really is. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so Jesus is saying about the <clears throat> he's got work to do while it's still light, and I did think about. about the, beginning was thinking what was he actually what's he actually talking about <laughs> and uh, then it just sort of struck me that, that Jesus is the light and uh, whilst he's still on the earth uh, he's got a lot of work to do and a lot of people to uh, just to show how great his father is and there's not a lot of time he said the darkness is coming or the dark to me, the darkness is when he finally dies. He's crucified and he knows that this is happening. So he's got to uh, get it done. He's got to get people, as many people as he possibly can, uh, believing in his father. So, uh, so yeah, he's uh, it's quite a... You know, sometimes you look at something and it doesn't actually say much. And when you start thinking about it, uh, there is, there's a lot in it. Uh, and I think, you know, if you read it yourselves and that, you'll get uh, quite a bit from it yourself. Uh, I mean, I was looking at him spat, spat into the ground and made up some mud and rubbed it into his eyes. And it was a bit, you know, why, why, why do you have to do that? You don't have to do that, Jesus. You just, you can say, open your eyes and you'll see again. But, you know, he had to do these things to get attention. Uh, in the Roman times, they did say that uh, saliva was like an antiseptic. And I think people uh, might think that he actually spat because he might 
I don't know, clean clean his eyes or make them fresh or, or whatever. But I personally, I just think, you know, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do to get the attention of everyone around. Um, you know, and all the things that he does, Jesus does, all the healing and everything, and and that, you know, they look at this man coming, the people, they see this man coming, he's seeing. Um, some of them don't even want to believe that it's actually him, you know, but, but some did, so, that, you know, Jesus is, these are the people that Jesus are looking out to, the ones that can't see him. They are blind and they need their eyes opening. And uh, yeah, this is the way I think he was doing it. But read it yourself, have a look and uh, yeah, be interested to know what you think. Okay, God bless.